Good day. Today we're talking to Professor Becky Tembe Dubey. He's a Curriculum Studies at the Faculty of Education. Welcome, Dr. Dubey. We're very happy to have you with us again. Thank you, Kamel, and uh, appreciated to be invited to come here. Thank you. All right. Dr. Dubey, tell me, how did you become a researcher? All right. Uh, my research um, journeys began in 2017 and through the inspiration that I got from my postdoctoral supervisor, Professor Shalele, Professor Jita, and uh, colleagues in the Godco campus who inspired us to push to the limits. And um, at that point, when I was a postdoctoral fellow, there was a need to renew your contract on performance best and as a way to ensure performance, that's where the interest of research began. Lovely. Tell me, sorry, finish. What are you currently working on? What research? All right. Currently, I'm working on a research that focuses on post-colonial Africa. And in that aspect, I work on issues to do with education, religion, and politics. I try to find and sync or how these three interplay in the African context, uh, context and then end up with a comparative uh, analysis with the, uh, with the education system in the United States of America. Right, our education does need a lot of attention. Tell me, Dr. Dubey, what research gaps have you identified in your field? All right, there are quite many research gaps, but I will just focus on the one that I, I, I work on. I work on the gap where I try to see the link between politics, education, and religion. So there are very few school, few scholars that focus on that area. So that is the gap that I'm covering to show um, my readers that there is always a link. And without addressing one of those elements, which is uh, perhaps religion, we will always have uh, a problematic issues in society. Definitely. Dr. Dubey, what would you like other researchers or other aspiring researchers out there to know? What can you share with them? All right. Um, many people do approach me to say, how have you done it over the years? You know, this publication record, the scholarship that we are seeing in you. And the first point of call that I always say to them is that you got to love what you do. Because when you love something, you create time for it. You have to love to be a scholar. And once you love being a scholar, you get yourself surrounded with people that are into scholarship and everything will fall into place. So just, first of all, love to do this thing called scholarship. Definitely, if you have a passion for something that's not work anymore, then it's a yeah. joy. Yes. So, Dr. Duby, as you mentioned, you've published quite a bit of work. And you told me you're currently working on a book. So busy, busy, busy. Also a reasonably new father with a baby keeping him out of his sleep. What do you do to relax a bit? What do you do for re relaxation? Okay, um, I'm a soccer fan. So at least Manchester, you know, uh, Manchester City won uh, all the trophies in the world. So I keep myself through soccer and um, yeah. That's the best I can always do. That's lovely. Thank you, Dr. Dubey, for joining us today. And we wish you the best going forward with all your endeavors. Thank you so much. And I uh, hope to continue working with the library services. Definitely. Thank definitely. You. Yeah.